All right, so we're gonna cut some cardboard. Uh, I've got some big pieces of cardboard here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make everything so it's level off of this joint here uh, from the chamfer panel. This is actually the chamfer panel here. So from this joint, I'm gonna try to make everything vertical and these are square corners on the cardboard. So I'm gonna hold it against here and we are gonna try to make this work. So it's gonna be there. And this has to come up more, I know it does, but... Basically what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of trace all the angles we're going to cut them out, right? So right here... <laughs> okay, so that right there is the curve in the front. So we're going to cut this quick, and then we're going to kind of try to tape it into place, and then fit the back piece. That's what we're looking at. Okay. Okay. So theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, theoretically, we can take this off now without moving this, and I can trace the line underneath here on this one, this whole panel. We can connect the dots on this and cut this little curved and straight spot. Okay. okay. I'll let you do that on the plywood, and I'll trace this. I tell you, it's, uh, it's comfortable in here. Nice and cozy. Mm. That's what I always wanted on a Tuesday night. Yeah, it's Tuesday night. Tuesday night, that's like uh, 12 degrees. But we'll be able to add gussets inside of here. Um, we'll be able to add little like portholes in the front of this. Um, this is just a void behind this. So if we had some portholes in here. I would say cubby holes. Yeah, cubby holes. We make, make little, you know, to make a little basket to shove in there mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever we, we feel. Yeah. There's not a ton of space, but there's enough to, Yeah, you can know, keep stuff in here. Yeah, for put sure. some beverages or books or. Ooh, beverages. You know, <laughs> whatever, whatever we might feel necessary. Mimosas. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, it's a little stronger than that, but, you know, keep the bottle up here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we don't, gotta we make don't do condone drinking and boiling. No, say. anchoring and, and drinking is another story. Is a different yeah. story. If we're at anchor all night long, we'll definitely have. <laughs> uh, the next step will be to lay out the ring frame uh, in cardboard, uh, get it all cut out, and then we'll bring that up, dry fit everything, cut accordingly, and. Uh, then we'll lay all this out on some, some final glass panels. We realized we needed to actually work on the cabin in order to see if we can put the head in the cabin rather than in the berth. So before we finish off the ring frame, we need to figure that out. So here we are once again, switching gears. So we have put down a temporary floor and today we are going to be mocking up the starboard side of the cabin. What are you doing? I am marking out the height of the countertop uh, on this wall right here. 36 inches. Yep, we're going to start with that. So the gunnels are lower than, like way lower than our countertops are going to be. The windows will follow this angle all the way up to the top. So we'll start our windows above the counter. It's probably six or eight inches here. So this will just be a, a bare wall. Um, unfortunately, it's just the way it worked out because we did push the bulkhead back the two feet. Not a big deal, but uh, we're going to start off with this here. Uh, I'm marking the height of our countertops. I'm going to measure over. And that's actually going to be the uh, the back edge of our counter. So we'll have a good idea of how wide it'll be at this point. And then uh, we may actually curve this out a little bit so it gets wider further up. Yeah. Um, that way you have room for our stove and all that stuff. So as we mark everything, label everything, just so we know we don't get confused with lines later. It just makes life a lot easier when we're doing this. Yes, okay. 
hold this over here. Over here? Yeah, hold it there. there you go. Like the, so when we cut this panel, we actually have to accommodate for the height of the countertop as well. is it's just so it's we can, not templates it's just this is so we can visualize you know. this is just so we can visualize what's going to be where and how it's going to look mm -hmm. okay okay how far do we want to come forward before we start to bend okay um let's see what one so, looks like all right so this is give or take a foot right there all right and we can stretch this up ideally we're going to make this about the same 16. so whatever that is we'll go 16 16 18 um, okay. So that's one. And the other one has to bend the opposite direction. Alright. So this now. I see. I get it now. Right? So this will be here. Right? So we'll be able to mark this up here about an inch in. Yep. And we can pull this back to with to the string. So now we can measure off of this to the string. And that'll give us our counter space, right? All right. All right. So I need uh, the level. So we're not building full frames, full cabinets like where you typically get in a house, and you just bolt the thing in because we're trying to save as much weight as we can. Right. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it's close on that line. A couple spots. And it should hold itself up. And we will have drawers and doors in these cabinets. Um, probably drawers. Probably more drawers than doors. Uh, they're just more functional for us. Uh, obviously on a boat, you don't want stuff rocking and rolling when you're, when you're in the waves and stuff. But... your line on the floor right there that you need to be on okay. oh the joys of working with cardboard really it's the joys of building the boat hey i can push this out a little yeah. bit okay so why don't you just push that on i'll hold out my foot good sorry i'm, I'm looking at the wall with the camera okay i can put one on the back side here too so it doesn't move i gotta roll Wow, this is really terrible to film. I'll tell you, it's so hard to film stuff, like actually hold the camera and film it. So I always put it up on time lapse and just let it go. Just like. It's like, I, it's easier to give the description and then just get to work because trying to hold and find good spots to put cameras and stuff. Hey guys, you're going on time lapse. Okay, so that's close enough. We, we have an idea where it's going to be, right? So, I never measured the captain's chair. I think it was 24. I think it was 24, too. Right. So that's not a big deal, because it's 24. That still leaves us 24 inches right here to this. To this. Then the other one's 24. Yeah. Which is fine. Well, maybe not. Not fine. Unfortunately, that is where we're going to end it this week. We are literally in a week-to-week -week basis with videos and with progress on the boat. 
but please stay tuned because spring is right around the corner and we could not be more excited for spring this year. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully we'll have some better footage for you next week. Thanks for watching. Oi. Oi. Oi is right. So you want to tell everybody what just happened? <laughs> um, so I fit the flow panel on the Cassie's feet right there. And it fit really well. If it, it's a really good fit. <laughs> um, it, it wedges in there, so I made a little hook. And I happened to drop that hook the other day underneath the plywood. Yeah. yeah. So, while, while retrieving my hook, somehow I decided to take a chunk out of my ear. You know, fiberglass is sharp. With a rogue piece of fiberglass. Yeah, I don't know where it, where it came from, but somewhere. So yeah, there's a little blood on the air. That's why. <laughs> because, you know, we're both in a boat.